It's always Khan from Manchester. <laughs> Welcome. There's your seat. Still warm. So were you just watching that performance? No, from Helen? watching it, no. Ooh, it was exciting. I wish I had. Yeah, let's, uh, let's hope you can do even better. Hope so. Um, so you're always Khan for a civil engineer uh, from right here in Manchester. Yep. Um, you know the rules, I'm sure. Everybody knows the rules, so should we just get going? Yes, please. Let's play Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? <laughs> Here comes your £100 question. Which term is often used to mean the ideal romantic partner someone might imagine? Mr Wright, Mr Chips, Mr Kipling or Mr Bean? That would be Mr Wright, final answer. And that's £100, so well done. <laughs> this is for £200. Which of these is a rectangular pink and yellow sponge cake covered in marzipan? Wahlberg, Spielberg, Battenberg, Carlsberg. That would be Battenberg, final answer, Jeremy. And that would be £200. Well <laughs> this is for £300. Which of these professionals is most likely to perform a pirouette? Magician, ballet dancer, stand-up comedian, or sumo wrestler? Uncomfortable silence. <laughs> I would... I've got, an, I've got a fairly good idea, but I will ask the audience at this point, please, Jeremy. Righty-ho. So we're not going to tell them what you're thinking, because you don't want to prejudice their uh, thinking. Yeah. yeah. Audience, uh, on your keypads, please. Which of these professionals is most likely to perform a pirouette? If you think it's magician, you push A. Ballet dancer's B. Stand-up comedian is C. And sumo wrestler is D. And if you'd all vote now, please. I've never seen that before. Um, actually, 0% cropping up twice, but 95% uh, have gone with ballet dancer. Hilariously, 5% think it's sumo wrestling. <laughs> I would love to see that. Um, <laughs> I'll go with the audience, so I'll go ballet dancer, final answer, please, Jeremy. And that is the correct answer, and we're there. Well done, audience. Well done, you. Did you really not know you did? I was, I was well, I was 95% sure. It was sumo wrestling, and, and <laughs> yeah. of Anyway, um, here we go. This is your £500 question. Which of the seven deadly sins is most associated with laziness? Lust, sloth, wrath, or gluttony? I'd say that is sloth, final answer. Um, that's £500. <laughs> now, this is your £1,000 question. This gets you um, the minimum amount that you'd be going away with. Let's have a look at the question, shall we? Which of these superhero films stars Tom Holland as the title character? I'm nodding already. Spider-Man No Way Home, Aquaman, The Dark Knight, or Venom? OK, so Aquaman, I believe the actor who played Aquaman was Jason Momo, Dark Knight, Christian Bale, Venom, I think that was Tom Hardy, so that leaves me with Spider-Man, No Way Home, final answer. And you've just made it to £1,000, well done! <laughs> So, apart from ballet dancer, <laughs> what are the areas that you hope don't crop up tonight? Where are you weakest? I would say probably history, um, outside of the UK, and also mythology, 
Mm. It's not one of the things that I thought, mm. oh, I'll, I'll go and get my head in some mythology It's extraordinary books. how often Greek mythology does crop up on yeah. this. Extraordinary. Hopefully not for me. Well, let's keep our fingers crossed on that one. Now, what about areas that you'd think, oh, good? Apart I'm, from films, obviously. Well, I'm, I'm hoping my <laughs> film question's not gone now, but... I'm, I fear I'm, it has, but <laughs> you never know. I'm a big film buff. Um, sports, mainly football, tennis. Um, right, well, look, let's plough on, shall we? Um, would you like to set your safety net at £2,000? I'll carry on going, please, Jeremy. Righty-ho, here comes your question. The name of which of these activities comes from an acronym of the equipment that is used? Scuba diving, zorbing, spelunking, or surfing? Again, I've got a good idea of what it is. I don't think it's spelunking. Zorbing, I don't think it's that. Um, surfing, I don't think it's that either. What I'll do, because I'm not 100% sure I've got that seed of doubt, I'll play a 50-50, please, Jeremy. So, what are you hoping just I'm hoping, I'm hoping um, Scuba's left, and I'm yeah. hoping um, probably Spelunking is left. Let's see, shall we? Computer, could you take away two wrong answers, please? I, d I don't think it's surfing. Um, it's 99% sure it's Scuba, but... I've got two lifelines. Well, I'm going to I'm going to play. Okay. And I'm going to play scuba diving final answer. Mm. Scuba diving, I believe, scuba is self-contained underwater breathing apparatus. That is the right answer. Well done. £2,000. <laughs> Zorbing is a person inside a large ball is rolled down a hill, and I was the first person to ever do it. Wow. It's a cow. Welcome <laughs> back to the final part of Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? We're here with... Oh, where is Hindi? Where are you? Are oh, £2,000. Um, would you like to set your safety net at £4,000? I've got the two lifelines, Jeremy, so I'll... Carry on, please. Well, you've got one, and me. <laughs> but OK, here we go. Um, this is your question. Which of these US cities is on the shore of Lake Michigan? Washington, D.C., Fort Worth, Chicago, or New Orleans? I know Chicago is in the state of Michigan. So, on that assumption, I'm not 100% sure I'll play Chicago, final answer. The correct answer. Well done. <laughs> Although, um, not 100% certain that you're working out was correct. I don't think Chicago is in Michigan. Doesn't matter, though. All that is of no consequence. What is of some consequence is whether you want to set your safety net at 8,000. I'll carry on, please, Jeremy. OK, don't. Uh, this is your question. Which of these TV entertainment shows is fronted by a married couple? QI, The Hit List, In For A Penny, or Taskmaster? I've not heard of, of well, three of them. Um, that's not good. I will phone a friend, and I would like to phone Mark, please. OK, can we call Mark, please? Who's Mark? He's an ex-work colleague, but close friend who kept in contact after. Another engineer? He's another engineer. Another engineer. Hopefully watches a lot of TV. Ah. <laughs> well, it's fingers crossed that he's, uh, he's seen these Hello? shows. Hi, Mark. Hello. Hi, Jeremy Clarkson here from Who Wants to Be and Millionaire. Um, Hello. We've got Owes with us, and uh, he's on four grand, and he needs your help to progress a bit. Um, OK. So here's how it works. In, um, I'm going to hand it over to you in a second. You'll have 30 seconds to read out that question and the four possible answers, leaving enough time at the end for um, Mark to have a, a think. Right, you ready? Yeah. Because your time starts now. Which of these TV entertainment shows is fronted by a married couple? QI, 
The hit list, in for a penny, or Taskmaster? The hit list. How sure 100%. are you? 100%. Okay. Re re read option three again, please. Q Definitely not the, one the four. other three are QI, in for a penny, and Taskmaster. I don't know about in for a penny. The other two, definitely not. Hit list. But they're definitely, five definitely seconds. a couple on the hit list, and I, I think they're married. I'm pretty sure they are. That's the sort of friend you want. Who's 100% sure of something rather than the theft death, which you get sometimes. Yeah, I'll go with, um, with what Mark said there. So, I think he said the hit list. Um, <laughs> <laughs> There was, all, there was all the chat after, so I got a bit distracted with that. So I think I'm sure he said the hit list there. Um, so I'll go with Mark and say hit list, final answer. Well, he was right, and so are you. They have just won £8,000. <laughs> hit list is, is hosted by Marvin and Rochelle Humes. Oh, yes. Very famous. Right, good. Now, safety net at 16,000. I'll, I think I'll say that, set that safety net at 16,000, please, Jeremy. OK, computer, could we set the second uh, safety net, please, at 16,000 pounds? Right, that's that done. Now we've got to get you there. And this is the question that hopefully will do it. The official motto of which branch of the British Armed Forces is the Latin phrase paragua ad astra? Royal Navy, Royal Air Force, British Army, or Royal Marines. OK, when the, the phrase came up, to be honest, I don't know it. Um, I associate Astra with sky, stars, I might be wrong in that, but it's just initial inkling. So, not the Royal Navy, not British Army, not the Marines. I'm, I'm tempted with the Royal Air Force, but because I'm so close to the safety net, I think I would like to ask you, please, Jeremy. OK, here's what I think. Good news. I studied Latin at school. The bad news is I didn't listen to a single <laughs> word. <laughs> to say, a single word. Um, I'm not... Well, the official matter of which branch? How can I not know this? Even if I don't know what the Latin means, I should know it, shouldn't I? I, I don't know, and that's my final answer. Sorry about that. Absolutely nothing I can do. Which leaves you in a tricky spot, really, because no lifelines remaining. Because, um, obviously, if you get it wrong, £7,000 up the Swanee. I'm sure I've come. I've read this somewhere. I'm certain Astra is something to do with, as I mentioned before, star space. So whether it's reach for the stars, something like that. So I'm going to say Royal Air Force. Final answer. Okay. Uh, as I helped you, oh, I didn't. But as I was asked, um, could the computer now reveal the correct answer, please? The gut, isn't it? <laughs> it's amazing how many times you just the gut reaction to something is right. It's extraordinary how we see that time and again. It's usually translated as through adversity to the stars. You've reached your safety net, which means you have a free punt at thirty-two thousand pounds, which is a good place to be. Um, should we have a look at the question? Please, Jeremy. Okey doke. Here it is. From head to toe. Which of these sculptures is the tallest? Mannequin's Peace, Rodin's The Kiss, The Venus de Milo, Milo, Michelangelo's David. This is going to be a, a complete punt. I've um, not heard of A and B, so between C and D, just as a... It is it's a pure punt, this. I've got nothing to lose, so... I'll... Toss of a coin here. I'll go... 
Michelangelo's David, final answer. You are riding Lady Luck. That's the right answer. <laughs> £16,000 on a coin toss there. No, well done. Well, actually, it was all four of them. I mean, you've not heard of I've not heard the of top two, but it could have been them. Right. So here's the situation. Um, you've no more safety nets to worry about, but this is going to be your £64,000 question. Um, the risks are very big if you get it wrong, but we'll have a look, shall we? Please. OK, here it comes. Which is the slowest of these musical tempos? Allegro, Adagio, Andante, or Allegretto? Before the options came up, I had Allegro. I was thinking Allegro, but again, I'd not heard of Allegretto. Similar, similar spellings. Um, so what I think I'm going to do, Jeremy, I'm not, I'm not going to risk it. It's too much money. I'm. I'm going to walk away with the money, please. Final answer. Final answer. Well, there we are. Um, that's it. Um, I don't blame you, actually. If you don't know, that's no. a huge amount of money, £16,000, to lose. Uh, but it does mean, nevertheless, always Khan, you are going away from here with £32,000. <laughs> which is quite something. Quite something. Bearing in mind, bearing in mind that when he got to a thousand, he'd already used two lifelines. <laughs> yeah. I thought this is a man who's not going to be troubling us for long. <laughs> but thirty-two is quite a win. Thing is, though, before you go, I, I have to ask, what would you have gone for if you really were mad? I would have gone Allegro. Okay, if you'd have gone Allegro, I would have said to you, yeah, you've just lost sixteen thousand um, pounds. It's a Daggio. Ah, oh, right. Samuel Barber's Adagio for Strings is all I could think of, which is really slow. Great piece of music, but very slow. So that was would have been my guess, and it would have been a guess as well. But you're not listening, and I don't blame you, because you have got <laughs> £32,000. It's been great fun having you here. Thank you, Jeremy. Ladies and gentlemen. Oh, it's Khan. Well done. Thank you. <laughs> you go that way. OK, here's my final question. Would you like to see more Who Wants to Be a Millionaire videos? Then click subscribe and you're guaranteed to win. Granted, it's not a million pounds, but it could be worse.